I never saw Dad cry a lot. Um, he was always, to me, just strong in that strong presence. So that my mother would cry, I would cry, he would be the strong shoulder. If there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible. I saw him cry when Barack Obama became president, sitting right in the, on the sofa in there. Who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time. Tears just streamed down. Who still questions the power of our democracy. Tonight is your answer. Mr. Mayor, honorable members of the council, I'm Ferdinand T. Day, and I come today to represent the spirit of thousands of Alexandrians, black and white, Republicans and Democrats, all concerned about the development and future of our great city. He wanted to solve problems that have to do with race and gender and color line. Dad always tried to work with everyone. Now, this is a book about Alexandria. I don't know if you've heard of the sit-in um, when the African Americans went to the library in 1939 and it was kind of like a quiet protest um, and they um, uh, we're trying to get s service. This is Armstead Booth. Uh, he was a famous lawyer, 1929-1970. He represented the city uh, against the African Americans that had gone to set it on the library, uh, and that was illegal. So th they called the police. The police came. And, and arrested the African American youth. They they were peace. They were they were peaceable. Now, Ferdinand, these guys became very respected friends. They found each other, mm -hmm. and they they held on to their friendship. Right. And and, and regardless of what was happening mm -hmm. around the city. The other thing that uh, is interesting with regard to Alexandria and Dad's. Uh, school board work when uh -huh. he first went on. Remember he told the story about there were some who didn't want to sit next to him. Right. Remember in the beginning when he first went on the board. Right. And um, that was always interesting. Right. And then by the end, by the time he left, they were all friends. And here's Ferdinand. <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah, I am over here. <laughs> you I had, are both on the end. I had just joined the club. The second time I saw him cry was when there was an article in the paper saying that someone had recommended that T.C. Williams High School be renamed after him. And an actual tear rolled down. He said, I can't imagine that someone would say they want to name a school after me. He said, boy, that is really something. Wouldn't that be something, Gwen, he said to me. And I said, oh, Dad, it really would be. I said, maybe one day. But we didn't dream at that moment that something like this would happen. And um, I know he would be happy. I know he would have one of those big smiles. And my mother would be saying, oh, Ferdinand, that's wonderful. And I know they would be really happy.